This is a sink full of water. It has a plug in the bottom. What you're about to see is the effect that a vortex has once formed. actually plug the drain. The stronger the vortex gets, the stronger the vortex, the faster the rotation is going to be. Being a, a normal drain, it would simply seal or plug or stop the drain. So the vortex causes pressure, areas of low pressure, to, to shift from one uh, side of the circle around to the other and rotate. Now, on to the other. This is a very large bowl. Now, instead of the rotating mechanism that you saw before, this is going to be a a low pressure shift as the area of low pressure moves from one side of the vortex to the other as it swirls it's going to cause fluctuations on the side of the of the pyrex bowl thus causing a uh, throttling tilt mechanism That wasn't too impressive because I had not started the vortex before hand because I didn't want to get both my hands wet. Next you're going to see the highly efficient squared shaped chamber and with a initialization by swirling the water then releasing the drain we're going to see the, uh, the effectiveness of that method. As you can see, the water is already in a swirling motion. The sink is most of the way full. I'm going to now sit down the camera.
Right now I'm flattening the base of the stainless steel. I had to let go because I saw air bubbles coming from the bottom. Finally got it. Now the stronger I get the vortex in the center, the more of a low pressure zone it forms. Of course in the rotating pattern, the higher the low pressure zone it forms at the lip of the bowl. And uh, more often than not, I'll actually see a vortex form around the outside of the bowl because of the direction of the low pressure. But that's all today for Kitchen Sink Science. I'm Aaron. Thanks for watching.